Hello. Hello. Um. <laughs> good time um just working um looks like i might have two days off this week which ain't fucking great news but it is what it is at least i'm getting work we're getting work done and um able to learn and and uh and complete things and fucking yeah it's been nice um uh, you know the, the boss man got sober um been the fucking good shit. And I can just focus on having a good time and just fucking relaxing. Like, at least I got, you know what I mean? Like, I can go to work. Fucking go to work. <laughs> like, that's, um, I don't know. To me, it's, it seems like, it's, it's, you know, you got a job, just get up and go to work in the morning. Fucking go do it. And, uh, Get it done. Do it, do it well. You know what I mean? But, like, it just seems so simple to me. But, like, it just... Um, you know, like... Like, you know, at least that's the way I want my life to be. Is... I got a job. I get up and fucking do it. Um, and it's mostly been like that lately. So, um... I'm able to fucking relax and breathe and, and just kick back um, and have a good time. And uh, I don't know, this past weekend, I, we had a, uh, we had another warehouse stream day, uh, which was fun. It was fun. Um, I had a hard time, like, I had such a good time that day. Like, I started at 12, but I had a hard time spacing out the beers that day. And, and the smoking, and, um, I was a little bit, like, like, by the time I got on, um, I did, I did okay, though, like, I, it, it took me a minute to warm up, though, um, and, uh, pretty much by the end of the set, I was warmed up, <laughs> but it was a fun time, and, and, uh, people enjoyed it, it seemed, people seemed to enjoy it, and, um, I definitely enjoyed myself, that whole day it was great, seeing everybody play, and, um, do their thing, I mean, Pat, Pat played, and, and, uh, Jill Stavely played, and Dirty Pat Walsh played, you know, um, Trevor Hill, Robert Halen, um, he did his bleep bloop thing, and, um, uh, Mr. E, he, he did his thing with, um, with this synthesizer, um, Eric, uh, Mitchell, um, Roche wrote, um, read, he, he read a part from, um, something he wrote, I don't, I don't know if it's like a novel he read or like a, a storybook, I, like, I, I'm not, not sure what it's an excerpt from, um, the Cats of Candler Park, it, it was the title, um, but it was good, it was captivating, I was like, what the fuck are, you know, what's going on with these cats? Um, and a vision quest thing, like, it was, it was definitely captivating, like, it had me interesting, interested, but, um, oh, it was a fucking great time, it was a great day, um, the whole day, Eve's show started it off, um, it, Shea Marshall played, and, um, Andrea, um, she's, I think that was the second time, she's, that's the second time she's played, um, with us, but she had a lovely voice, she does have a lovely voice, and she has good songs, like, it's, it's, like, lovely, um, is the only way I can put it, um, and, uh, Kalen played, um, buddy Kalen, um, he did a great job, he did something different with his sound this time, uh, which, it sounded, it sounded much better, like, um, there was a point where I accidentally clicked on, like, I got a notification that he was live, and, um, I didn't mean to click on it because I was listening to somebody else play, and then I, I somehow I it actually just me checking my notifications. It, it somehow came up in another screen, and um, <laughs> and I didn't know it, 
and I heard blah, blah, like this big bassy sound and I thought it was my keyboard because I had my keyboard was live at the time I just wasn't playing it and um and it sounded like it was my fucking keyboard going off and I was like what the fuck I, I thought like there was some kind of glitch going on um and uh it turns out it was him Uh, I went out to the store and got um, the old man needed beer and cigarettes so we went to this store and uh, I picked up you know I grabbed my own stuff but um yeah the the uh, 7-eleven um, younger black gentleman um, it's like I, I only mention it because it's like the first person, like, in, in 20 years, uh, um, 20 more years that I've been living here, uh, um, it's the first black person I've seen working that worked there, um, like, it's, uh, it's rare, so it's, it's nice to see, but it's a nice kid, um, I, I would have to guess, like, 25, or, um, he's young, um, but, uh, he's a cool cat, he's a cool cat, I talked to him, most of the time when I go down there, you know, if it's not busy or anything, I always end up bullshitting with him. But, uh, <clears throat> he was, uh, I forget I was talking, I was talking about McDonald's. Um, somebody mentioned about garbage being in, in, in uh, chocolate milk and chemicals and shit. And I was like, it's chemicals and everything. But, um, it's moderation, moderation in things like that. that you, it's not going to really do you that much harm. Um, and I mentioned, for example, I said, like, McDonald's food, like, um, where they had that supersized documentary, like, it's not that, like, it's garbage food, but, um, you can eat it every day, like, I, I did it, I did it for over a year, um, but that would, that would be all I eat, like, I, I didn't get fat, I didn't, you know, I wasn't, unhealthy at all, um, in fact, I was in fucking killer shape, um, but that's all I would eat all day, like, just a couple cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers or whatever, a couple McDoubles and, and a fucking large fry and, and a Coke, and that would be, like, the bulk of what I ate for the whole day, um, anything else, I would just be, like, a snack, like, fucking eat some pretzel sticks or something, um, or a piece of toast or something if I was hungry, but like that, that pretty much fueled me like through the day, like I didn't need any more calories, um, and I, I always take vitamins because I don't eat, I don't choose, you know what I mean, like I don't plan out, I don't, I don't feel like plotting out all the vitamins and shit like that that I eat, um, I just don't have the patience for it, I just, because, because usually it wouldn't matter anyhow, I want what I want, and um, when it comes to food, like, I'm usually just, like, I want what I want, and if I can get it, I'm like, I'm gonna get it, um, that's what I'm fucking eating, I don't give a shit about a diet, I'll just pop a vitamin, um, but anyhow, yeah, I was, like, most people don't realize, like, it's not that bad, because it's just about what you actually put in your body, and how much of it you put in your body, um, if you ate that shit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you ate a large portions you know, you'd be in bad shape, um, but anyhow, somehow that came up, um, the, the, the cashier mentioned to his co-worker, like, somehow that brought into his mind that, um, most people don't realize that, um, therapist, uh, the word therapist, if you look at it, it, it's spelled out like the rapist, and, uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, you, you never watched, um, uh, 
Arrested Development when uh, he he was an analytic um, analytic therapist, and uh, he was called an anal rapist. <laughs> and it is what it spelled out on the door, uh, anal rapist. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was fun. I just had, having a good time. Um, just even going to the store was fun. Um, he started with me right away as soon as I walked in, and I was trying to catch out. And he was. I was like, I need to make two trans two transactions, and um, I was like, I need two packs of Marlboro Reds, and he was like, and then, and I was like, and then I need two packs of Marlboro Blacks, and he was like, and then, and I was like, and then, and then, um, and he he was surprised that I knew what he was talking about, <laughs> and then, and then, and then. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I gotta go eat. <laughs>